Why is, does he, why do you people want to make him cover for the others? I police station kasarani wanaweza tuambia kwa nini wale kuchukua mwili on a private property bila ku confirm kwamba ule mwili ulitoka kwa mkoa nyumba gani. Mkoaje wasi. Ile kitu yenye imetuleta hapa lazima jua tu atuiko fine. Like kuna venye things are not things are not going on well in this country of ours. The reason as to why tunasema hivi ni juu ya huu kijana aitwa Jeff. Sasa hizi hakuna mtu ajui Jeff. Sasa hizi Jeff ame trend kila mahali kwa kila social media. Kila mahali hakuna mtu ajui Jeff. Jeff ni kijana 23 years. Alipigiwa simu na mtu celebrity na mnamjua nyinyi wote. Akamwambia kuja nikupe job. The guy was full of fun. Zile audio clips zinatembea, zina circulate. Alikuwa anaongea na mama yake. Mama yake hayuko Kenya. Hakukuwa Kenya by then. Alikuwa nga Middle East. Akamwambia, "Mam nimeitwa job na fulani, tafadhali na sina fea, ni sort na miambili, nipate nini? Nipate fear." Na akapewa fear. And then akaambia mama yake in the next audio, "Mam, I'm very smart. Acha nitakutumia picha tukipana na DJ na DJ Fanso na zile pesa zenye atanilipa nazo." Nita nita nitapiga luku na brother yangu. The guy was so full of fun. So why are you guys telling us at he commit suicide? I mean uh, the math is not even adding up. Who kijana alikuwa full of fun. Na alikuwa mtu ako na future yake. Why did you cut? Why did you have to cut his life? Just his life just like that. That was not. It was not right. Haya, who kijana amechukuana. Wameenda clubs ine. Wameenda clubs ine. Why would you take a, a client for that case? Utapeleka client clubs ine ama mtu mnafanya kazi na yeye ama unataka kumpea kazi clubs ine under what basis? Under what circumstances? Unamba hiyo hizo pombe zote afanye nini? Unampeleka club ya kwanza, club ya pili, ya tatu na ya ine honestly na ni mwanaume kama wewe. Mwanaume kama wewe. Kwani club ya kwanza hamge kunywa mlewe? Amge kunywa mtosheke huko it is because you guys mlikuwa na intentions zenye mlikuwa nazo and then mkachukua huyu kijana mkiwa na wasiana wengine watatu na maboyi wengine wawili driver yako na kazini yako mliwachukua mkawapeleka mkaenda na wao it is okay it is not wrong mkaenda na wao mpaka kwa nyumba yenu statement according to what you guys are telling us and the press conference mlita na jana it was two different things mmekuwa mkituambia nini mmekuwa mkituambia ati the so called dj aliingia kwa nyumba wakakakaa kidogo akachukua madem akawatoa ak kama wamekasirikiana akawapeleka kwao and then the lady called by the name Mutanu that lady that very lady alichukua alichukua simu akapigia girlfriend ya nani ya Jeff akamuuliza aje Jeff amefika home The question was unamuuliza ama amefika home na ground gani na mlikuwa na yeye dem hakukua Haya ukamwambia akakuuliza walikuwa na Fatso You guys mkamwambia aje Fatso alienda studio na ni sawa si vibaya Ni sawa akarudi saa tatu CCTV inasema after alirudi akapata mwili hapo chini akaiangalia akajifunika na akapanda juu It is okay Jana kwa press conference wenye walisikia alisema alikuwa wapi kwa bedroom alisema alikuwa melala kwa bedroom akaamka akaenda sitting akaenda akapata wanaume wawili akawauliza kwani Jeff ako wapi wakamwambia Jeff atujui kwenye yako basi tokeni tukamwangalie wakatoka wakaenda ku report jamaa ana miss the question is kulikuwa saa ngapi kulikuwa saa ngapi pale chini ukiingia uli view body ya nani juu CCTV inasema vizuri sana ulikuja na ukampata hapo ukamwangalia na ukapanda juu tena umetuambia ulikuwa umela ulikuwa umelala honestly we have to stand up for Jeff because it is taking too long it is taking way too long for justice in this country of ours to prevail at the end of the day mimi nikakufia kwa huyu msichana nikakufia kwa huyu msichana yeye ndio atakuwa suspect wa kwanza 
atachukuliwa na serikali aeko ya hostage until justice ifanye nini ipatikane sasa yeye mwenyewe mwenye nili, alikufia kwa Jeff alikufia kwake bado wanaranda randa nje haya wenye walikuwa na wao wenye wanafaa kupeana kupeana kuandikisha statement saa hizi bado wako nini wako nje honestly tunasikia saa hizi as we are talking one of the ladies are commissing it is okay ada anaweza miss na aenda nje ya country ni sawa kwa sababu serikali imewaatilia imewapea ruhusa saa hizi tunajua saa hizi hata nikiangukia hapa nyinyi wenye tuko na nyinyi hapa ndo mtachukulua mkiwa wa kwanza ili mkaandikishe na na, na mshikwe ili mpeane statement venye kulia kulienda saa hii hapa mama ya Jeff amezika mtoto wake hospitali ili kulipelekwa at 73 hours mimi hata kuna swali yenye mimi it is not even adding up in me sijasama sana lakini honestly kuna vitu haziada hapa hawezi niambia ati kutoka hapo venye hapo kwa hiyo nyumba hapa nyatu naenda kuweka maua hapo kwa hiyo nyumba venye Jeff alianguka kutoka hapo kwenda mpaka kwa mochari ili take 73 hours honestly mimi hata kama sijasoma honestly i mean does it even add up kwani alikuwa anaenda na rivers kutoka hapa hapa ka hapa ka hasa hapa kwenda mpaka city mochari ili take 72 hours ili mtuambie ati ati, ati postmortem haingefanywa ati haingepeana results zenye zinavaa juu 72 hours imeisha the next question kwani hiyo mochari haikukuwa na attendant na ni ya serikali Haikukuwa na attendance na ni ya serikali wenye wanafaa kuchunguza hiyo mwili venye imekuja. To make the matter worse, si ni mochari ya, 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 ya mtu binafsi, ni city mochari yenye inafaa kufanywa postmortem ya kila mtu akiingia kwa hiyo kwa hiyo OC. Hapana, msitubebe ufala, msitubebe ufala. Mwenye alikuwa hiyo OC, tu kwanza hapo, hadi mwenye alikuwa hiyo OC, hiyo siku wanafaa kushikwa kwa sababu anafaa anajua kazi yake. Kazi yake ni kufanya nini? Ni kufanya postmortem. Mbona alingoja 73 hours ishe? Kwa hivyo ulilipwa. Tuambieni ulilipwa. Yes, Elas mlilipwa. It is not right at all. Ili saa hizi mtu akilea mtoto wake wa kijana anajua mtoto wake ako. Lakini si saa hii wa mama wanazidi kuzaa na wanazaa vijana hata uwezi acha mtoto wako hata akiwa mlemavu hapo nje. Uwezi acha mtoto mwenye hezi kujikimbiza hapo nje kama wanashika mwenye ako na miguu mbili what if mwenye huyo kijana pengine by, by, by bad luck or good luck ni disabled utamfanyia maneno hapo juu hawezi kimbia no this is not right we have to stand up for jeff and that is why we are saying justice for jeff 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 ndio kwa sababu leo ni jeff kesho ni mimi leo ni jeff kesho ni wewe Leo ni wewe kesho ni mwingine. We are we want this to come to an end. Justice for Jeff. Personally, ara tumbo za wamama to be honest. Stomachs za wamama wote ambao tumezaa zimejua maji. Kwa sababu every time you see the photo of that kijana venye alikuwa amefanywa you picture your baby on that on that floor una picture mtoto wako venye sura yake ingekuwa inakaa so as mothers tuko worried huku nje tutatoka tunaangalia chakula tutapatia watoto aje ama are we going to worry about the safety of our kids alafu why why is it that our watu wako na do kila wakati na kuaga too hard to get to them ni nani anakuati he's an unknown person at another unknown person ni nani yako kwa hii Kenya over 18 hana id if this government really is interested kuwakati kuwashika si wenge kuwashika hadi saa hizi why is it in a case of seven people we are only seeing one face why is does he why do you people want to make him cover for the others hii ipo station kasarani wanaweza tuambia kwa nini wali kuchukua mwili on a private property bila ku confirm kwamba ule mwili ulitoka kwa kwa nyumba gani why take a body kama unknown yet it is on in a private property nyumba ambayo inahitaji security cctv iko kunahitajika fingerprint ati mtachukua mtoto pale chini alafu the dci ambao wanafanya investigation yote we can all see the inconsistency hata watu wajana shule wana una inconsistency kwa hii story these people are lying everybody is lying sasa sijui mtatuambia ni familia inadanganya ama ni hao wanadanganya ama ni media inadanganya ama ni polisi wanadanganya or is it the cctv this this is enough evidence how what they have been lying they are still they are trying to cover for everything na wakati wanaachiliwa waendelea kukaa huko nje ndio the more wanaendelea kukava their trust
cash after spam to mwingine sijui ame commit suicide alafu ame confess to that killing alafu what happens hiyo story inafungwa hivyo as a mother mimi ni mama nangi nimekuja hapa kama mama i'm raising a boy tafadhali ni to know we, we cannot live in this fear sasa hizi tunasikia tu maji chwa kutumbo chwa we have not slept the whole week jeff is not my brother but i can picture my brother in jeff's face I cannot imagine my brother in a coffin hana kitu anusu mepasuka because of a cold blooded murder anafikiria ko na pesa zote zenye zinaweza patikana hii Kenya kama ako na pesa ya kutosha basi aende alipe jefa fufuke basi is it that watu tu wakati wote tu kuna scandal maskini akiwa kwa makosa ndo anashikwa it is very easy to catch mtu wako poor ama ana do but sasa hizi mtu wako na do ara si do ziko na maana kwa sababu sisi mafans ndo tumemweka mali yako Siti ni pesa iko na maana unless this guy is having support from higher powers. Alafu mtuambie kama justice peke yake inapatiana kwa matajiri, maskini tuache kulipa ushuru. I don't want to pay for taxes if my taxes cannot cover for me. Ah yes. tujamani mtuachishe bana. We want these people to be arrested. Take them in and question them. That is what we are asking for. Yes. We cannot be living with murderers in our midst. I want to happen evil. Let's just let Jeff be the last person now watu wanafanyia hii kitu. Kuna speculation it's not the first it is not the first case. And the other family pia waliambo it is suicide. Ni vile tu familia alijaribu maybe maybe our kids should not rest. Acha tufuatilie hii story. No 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 hatuwezi kuishi kwa hii nchi hivyo tafadhali. If justice inapatikana kwa matajiri peke yake basi mimi mimi kama mtoto wa hasla ni amboni acha kulipa taxes because I cannot. It's God's doing. Mungu ndiye ametaka hii story itoke cause maybe imekuwa ikifanyika yeah. most of my am time mob. It's God's time. Yeah? Yeah, so mtuambie if the police and the government only works for rich people. Sisi tuambiwe tu withdraw yako ni kutafuta pesa yako ya chakula na ya watoto hatulipi ushu i cannot pay for police officers who cannot protect me it doesn't make any sense na hii kasarani police station everybody is complaining hakuna mtu kesi hakuna siku zinafuatiliwa hakuna mtu anapataga justice hata ile kidogo tu kwa hii police station ati mtu amena kwa police station ame report bwana yake anamharas bwana yake anampiga anaambua ati nenda kikudunga kisu urudi uripoti now what kind of madness is that Yeah at you wende kuja na proof sasa proof ya domestic violence ni kungolewa macho this kasarani police station hapa kila mtu ana complain tafadhali kama hii deal serikali na serve tu matajiri basi si tuambiwe tu withdraw tupewe share yetu kama mahaslas tukateseke we are tired tuwapatie tuwapatie nchi yao huko wakae ya na tuna demand justice for jeff justice for jeff that is I want those people to be arrested. Hao watu waende washikwe wakwe question. That is what we want. Yes.